The Department of Interior and Local Government scouts for possible relocation sites for informal settlers residing along the waterways in Metro Manila. George Cahiles has that story. Robredo admits facing the biggest challenge of looking for a decent and safe relocation site for informal settlers near waterways in Metro Manila in response to President Aquino's order. Robredo says they have started looking for areas within National Capital Region where they can build medium-rise buildings that will serve as relocation site. Um, ginawa ho natin yung staff work, uh, ininventaryo natin kung ilan sila, kung saan sila, at kung uh, sino ho ang may prioridad paglikas. Ngayon ho, nagsagawa uh, na ng pagbiding sa magkailang medium-rise buildings at yung priority pong ililikas na nilalagay. Last year, the government allocated 10 billion pesos for the establishment of relocation sites for informal settlers. But Robredo admits several factors delayed the implementation of the project. Uh, kaya ho medyo naantala siya, naghahanap ho talaga ng, ng uh, lugar na uh, yung mga pangangailangan ng informal settler matutugunan. Robredo says as much as possible, the government wants to transfer the informal settlers near the area where they will move out. In several cities in Metro Manila like Pasay, Manila, Pasig, Quezon City, and Las Piñas, the government has already identified possible relocation sites. Ang, ang naisusan na natin kung uh, meron naman sa lugar mo, dyan na lang para hindi yung ma-displace yung mga anak na nag-aaral, kung may hanap buhay po malapit lang. Yan ho yung unang solusyon na hinahanap. Okay. Roberto says it will be a hard task for the government to relocate all informal settlers residing along the waterways. But he assures it will be a long-term and permanent solution to Metro Manila's flooding problem. George Cahiles, Solar News.